This is question two from the second CSAT sample paper. In this question, we're given full piece of information. A is greater than B, C is greater than D, D is greater than B, and E is greater than B. And we're asked in how many ways can we order A, B, C, D, and E? So if you want to have a go at this question yourself, pause the video now. Okay, so what's the first thing we see here? Well, a lot of these things are saying something is bigger than B. And in fact, if we look at this second one, it isn't saying that. This is saying C is bigger than D, and it also gives us C is bigger than B, because C is bigger than D, D is bigger than B. So we know B has to be the smallest. So we'll say, we'll put that last, so we'll order the list from largest to smallest. So we've got B last, and then we just have to th figure out what else what other information there is about the situation. So we're saying B is last, and if we're just counting the number of orders, that means we're just counting the number of orders of these four things. But are there any other constraints on the orders? Well, yes, because we know C is greater than D. So we don't know anything about the relationships between A, D, and E, but we do know that C is greater than D. So we have that as an extra constraint on our orders. So we're going to order these four things, but we need to have C greater than D. So I think the way to think now is, suppose this wasn't a constraint, what would the number of orders be then? It would be uh, 4 factorial, because there's four things, and we're imagining we don't care about... Uh, we don't care about the exact order. We'll just look at the number of ways we can order them. So there's 4 factorial orders of 4 things, and now we try and apply this constraint. How can we... how does that change the number of orders? Well, all this means is the orders where C is greater than D count, and the orders where D is greater than C don't count. But each of these orders is going to put C in front of D half the time, and D in front of C the other half the time. So half of them are going to have C before D, the other half are going to have D before C. So that means exactly half of them are going to count, and half of them we're going to have C bigger than D. So that means we're just taking four factorial orders and dividing by two, and 4 factorial is 24, so we get 12 orders, so 12 is our final answer.